Hi, my name is Eric and I'd like to spend a few minutes with you discussing drinking water and how water professionals deliver it to your homes. My dad has worked in the public water supply industry for 20 years and he'd like me to share the public water cycle story with you. Do you remember what your teacher taught you about the water cycle? Water accumulates in the clouds, and when they get full, it rains. The rain falls to the ground, and after it soaks in, it becomes part of the underground water table. Or fills lakes and streams. In the winter, the rain turns to snow, and is stored above the frozen ground until spring, when it melts and replenishes the aquifer. The aquifer is another name for groundwater, or it is sometimes called the water table. Surface water that isn't used by plants or animals evaporates back to the clouds, and the cycle continues. Did you know that most of us take drinking water for granted? Here's some things you might want to think about. About 80% of this planet is covered by water and ice. That is why Earth is called the water planet. But less than 1% of this water is drinkable. The average person uses about 80 gallons a day. while the average family uses over 100,000 gallons per year. Did you know that taking a bath can use 35 gallons or more? While taking a shower uses 5 gallons per minute. Flushing the toilet can use up to 3 gallons of water. A leaky faucet dripping 100 times a minute can waste 350 gallons of water each month. That's 350 wasted gallons that you have to pay for. Public water professionals operate water systems that provide safe, dependable, tested, and affordable drinking water to your homes, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and 365 days a year. Let's take a look inside this water department's pump house. Many water utilities pump the water from wells drilled deep in the ground, sometimes hundreds of feet below the surface. The shaft on this pump goes down around 100 feet. The water is pumped through pipes buried below the ground to hydrants that are used for fire protection or for flushing and maintaining the water distribution system.
the winter, the snow can become deep around the fire hydrants and make them hard to access. You can help out by shoveling around your fire hydrants so that in case of an emergency, your local fire department and water utilities can access them easier. And remember that if you're near a road, be safe and look for cars. Your local fire and water departments work together to protect your homes, schools, and businesses. creates water pressure. This pressure pushes water through underground pipes to your home and then through smaller pipes called service connections. Right behind me is a radio tower that receives a signal from the water tower and then sends a signal to the pumps start up when the water tower is empty. Back at the office, water professionals test your water on a regular basis to assure a safe, dependable, and pure drinking supply. They also test your water meters to assure accuracy when they measure how much water your family uses. I hope you've learned something today about your local water utility. Understanding the public water cycle should help you realize that public water is guaranteed, tested, dependable, safe, and affordable. Remember, your local water utility employees are on duty 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and 365 days a year. They're making sure that when you turn on the water, you'll have quality on tap.